Hi, YouTube world. This is Brian from Moses Homestead. I'm down in a culvert across the road from my house. The reason I'm down here is I'm checking out all the food for the fish that I can gather up. But what it is is millipedes. I've got a little millipede. They congregate on the walls of this culvert for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's cool down here and why they're congregating. But there's just thousands and thousands of them. You may be able to see some on the wall behind me. Um, they ain't all clustered up, they're just scattered here and there. But on this other wall over here, they're actually gathered in bunches. And I mean bunches. I'll let you have a shot of when I get up here in the light where you can see a little better. I'm sorry if it's kind of noisy, the flow of the water, and me washing around the water. But I'll turn this around and you'll be able to see some of the clusters of uh, millipedes. I just figured they make great fish food when I come across these things. I have a ram pump. I'll give you a shot of that too here in a second. It supplies water to an IBC tote, which I have a valve on it. And I can turn it on and fill up the horse tank. I have two men for horses, which I use a horse manure for fertilizer in my garden. I use this quick water, pumps it up into the horse, into the IBC tote for water for the horses, and I do have a pot belly tank that supplies water for that. And then I have the overflow from that tank going into another IBC tote, and I'm getting it set up for an aquaponics. I'm going to get some fish. I haven't decided if I'm going to try and catch a couple of little bluegill crappie or something put in there, or maybe a couple small catfish or something. Or if I'm just going to go get some gold, uh, feeder goldfish from the pet store. But anyways, I'll give you a shot of this. There's just thousands of them. It's unreal how many there are down here. Easy to catch for the fish food for, for the aquaponics. I'll turn and give you a shot of this culvert. I'm about 20 feet from that end, but it runs about another 60, 70 feet at least that way. As you can see in the picture, I got my ram pump going there. That supplies the water. Works quite well. I've had check valves in it, and I check valves with swing gate valves in it, and they wore out, and I replaced them with check valves. Seems to be working okay so far. And these check valves wear out where they're not working, won't operate the ram pump properly. I'm going to make my own check valves. I've seen them made on uh, YouTube videos. I love watching YouTube videos. That's why I decided to make my own YouTube videos. Just to show people different things. Not trying to advertise that I'm an expert in anything, just showing you the stuff I like. It drives my wife nuts when I tell her I'm going to do this and do that. She's like, that's all you ever do is think of things to do and like keeping me busy. I planted a garden. She grew up in the city. She's a city girl. She said that it just drives her nuts whenever I come up with some new project, like when I made the ram pump, for instance. Well, then she thought it was kind of cool that I wasn't having to haul water across the road to the horses anymore to supply the water to the horses. I, uh, I'm always doing something. See these bugs or these little peeps down here, and I thought, why not gather them up and put them in the freezer to preserve them and use them for fish food? Save from having to buy any millworms or anything like that to feed the fish in them. Aquaponics tank, which I don't have any in there yet, but I'm getting some. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do the feeder goldfish. I get a couple of crappie or bluegill or something to put in there. Well, I have plenty of food to feed them. It's all the insects from nature, so it should be healthy for them. Be healthy food for me to eat when I do process the fish. If I get bluegill or crappie or catfish or something like that. And this goldfish, it'll keep them healthy. 
One thing about having the ram pump supply water to the, to the horse tank, this runs from a natural spring pond that's up the gravel road several miles, the pond spring fed, and then it just flows down along this creek all the way down the gravel road for a couple miles. It runs along everybody's property along the highway. Well, it's a gravel road back there and turns into the highway. I live right on the highway, right on that, right where the highway starts. And this creek runs down here. I figured the water's good and oxyge oxygenated. Most people that set up aquaponics in their house, a lot of city folks that do it, they have to run uh, pumps to supply oxygen for the fish. This should be oxygenated water because there's fish in that pond. It supplies it to the horse tank. The overflow from the horse tank goes into the aquaponics tank uh, where the fish are going to be. And then the overflow from the fish goes into the actual garden garden bed, or the floating bed, I guess you call it. I do have it set up. I have a styrofoam cut with holes in it. I just got to get the plants in it. I get the fish in the tank to supply the fertilizer for the plants. This is one of the projects that I have that drives my wife nuts. But what else are we here for to drive our wife nuts, right guys? Anyway, I thought I'd just bring you down here and show you this. Um, when I get going on this project a little further, I'll do an update video. I'll come down here and gather up these millipedes or whatever they are. Um, I won't do a video of me sweeping them off the wall, but I will sweep them off the wall. I'll put them in containers put them in the freezer so I have a good supply of fish food and uh, once I get the fish I'll give you an update and uh, I hope you enjoy this I hope you come back if you like this video give me a thumbs up be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my videos and thanks for joining me today see you later bye